Hi, um, I'm going to be starting to do reviews on different purchases I make. Um, I feel like I buy a lot of stuff on Amazon and such. Um, so I just ordered a new Durawelp whelping box and weaning pen and thought it would be a good place to start making reviews. Um, my original... My baby's awake. My original film that I took of me opening the box, of course, was in the wrong format, and this um, movie editing program won't use it. So I'm just going to go over what I discussed. I bought the I bought the weaning pen and the whelping box, and when they arrived, the first thing I noticed was the box says, "Stop! Don't judge by appearances." Like before you open it. Like, don't, don't judge it until you've put it together, which, you know, sometimes can be a red flag, like, with the, when the product itself is telling you that it may look bad, but I swear it's good. Um, and all I really mean, though, is um, if you read the description before you buy it, it says it's made out of corrugated plastic. Um, if you're not good at reading what you're, you thought it was a, a solid piece of plastic or made out of a different material... Um, it is corrugated plastic, similar to what the signs you see out during election time, um, you know, vote for so-and-so. Um, they're made out of that same material. It's sturdy. It's not going to it's not gonna break or crack or anything. So I'm happy. I knew what I was buying when I purchased it. But I can see that's why the package says don't judge a book by its cover, um, because they're nervous that you're going to think it's made out of something that it's not. Um, also, the package, the cardboard box that it arrives in says... Um, that it is a storage container. <laughs> um, so I guess when you're not using it, after you've cleaned your whelping box up, you can put it back into the box it came into. Um, so it's kind of a, kind of a silly storage container, but there you go. Um, just open it from the top. Don't, you know, go crazy, rip it open. Um, like I was saying, this is my first video, so I'm not that good at making videos yet. Hopefully I'll get better. Uh, my daughter does cry a little bit during the video. Yeah, she she does. Um, it's not too loud until the end. Um, I think that's it. I try not to say um or things like that, but I'm human. <laughs> um, now I'm. I, the, I feel silly. The big, the rest of the video, I'm pretty good at not staring at the camera, but. I'm looking directly at my face right now, and it's actually kind of making me laugh. Um, I feel like I don't always use the right words, and I'm not very good at talking, but I decided to make a video for some reason, so uh, enjoy. Oh, and one other thing I forgot to mention. The video itself is, I think, about half an hour, um, and then there's about ten minutes of puppies just playing. Um, at the end of the video, so really it's not as long as it is if you don't want to watch puppies playing, but who doesn't? So it's in there. Um, yep. Okay, I'm going to try to set up most of it right here where we can see, but I don't really have a tripod. I'm just using my photo booth thing on my computer, so we'll uh, open it up and see what you think. I'm going to try not to turn away from you the whole time, but i to do what you got to do. All right. Guaranteed for three years, that's nice. Oh, yes. Then I want you to cut here. Alright, we're going to do that. Don't cut toward yourself, ever. You okay, baby? Alright, I got two of these, the, the pad for the bottom, I figured one in the wash, one in the pen. So these are the, the uh, pig rails so that you don't, mama dog doesn't squash baby dog. And you're pretty good. Alright, so here's one big piece. Save my storage container. Uh, 
All right, so it's gonna be backwards, but this is the uh, assembly instructions. They have four little screws right here. So I'm just gonna check for that first because it's kind of useless without instructions. And so, I mean, they look like, they look like decent instructions. I mean, some people are complaining that they're pretty vague, but I mean, they've got pictures, they've got words. Um, I'm gonna read through these and be right back. Look what I just found. Disposable pad liners. Yay! Okay, I'm just gonna, the instructions are so simple, I'm gonna walk through it as I put it together. All right, step one is square the body section of your Dura Welt and place on top of tray. is the same on all the sides, so I don't think it matters front to back to any of that yet. Wear it up. There we go. Second instruction is, well not second, inside of the tray flaps, remove protective film from Velcro tabs, fold up tray flap and affix to the body section of your Durawelp. It looks like, I'm just peeling this off and popping it up the top here. Um, I'm going to go with one of the sides that looks like it's already folded because that way I feel like there's less room for, for error there. I'm just taking off the little, the little plastic film. I hear ya. Are you singing? All right. So I'm just gonna fold these up. And all right. So that's that's one side. I'm just gonna keep doing that all. I'm gonna do the other, the other side. Is more supported up here. Just removing the tabs. So basically what it is is it's uh there's Velcro that's already stuck together. I don't know if you can see this. And they've just put both sides on here and you're just taking the back off of the second piece so that when you disassemble this later it's just Velcro. You're going to be ripping the Velcro apart. You're not going to be unsticking anything. Alright. Cool. It's like instead of staples, it's uh, melted. Melted together. It's kind of cool, actually. That, nothing will rust, so that's nice because, you know, everything that puppies can touch gets wet and so it will eventually rust. So it's kind of like there's no rusting ability right there. I hope this is supposed to bend. Yes. Yes. Let me read the instructions. Yeah, that just folds up. I'm just I don't want to break it before I even own it. It looks like uh, it's just not split the way. There we go. Alright, and the last side. Let me crack it beforehand. I think it just wasn't cut all the way through. Um, you know, like in corrugated cardboard, if you cut one end, it kind of makes a flap. I don't think that was cut all the way through. Alright, we'll fold this in. Alright, so now we've got everything together. I'll learn. Here's the door. There's a little Logan in there, slogan in there, in case you forget what you bought. Okay, we're gonna go on to step two. 
which is insert two rails, the ones without the tabs. Um, I don't know if you can see here. They are all still taped together. Um, these are the ones with the tabs. They're it's really just part of the PVC pipe tube uh, chopped off, but they're tabs. Um, they're going to interlock later. So insert without tabs into slots on the front and rear body of the section of the door well. The door on the front of your door well slides up and down. So we're going to be putting the slot a, a, a slot the ones without the tabs from back front to back front to back. Let's cut these guys open. Okay, so and it looks like they have Velcro on them too. So I have to keep an eye on that. I'm assuming it all connects to get, uh, this probably all these Velcro tabs probably go against the uh, body of the box. Let's see. So the ones without the tabs, I'm going to set these two aside. There's a little close up of one. These are the ones with the tabs. They have tabs up here. So we're going to set those aside for now. All right. So we're going to put this I'm a, they don't say it, yeah, they don't say it anywhere in the um, instructions, but I'm going to put the, these uh, Velcro sides against the Thorwell box because I assume they get snapped in. They just don't say it anywhere, so. Hot babies. They are six weeks old and very rambunctious. Oh, it's not even on film. Okay, so I've got one in. I'm going to push it back and through. And it looks like there's maybe three quarters of an inch hang off on each side. And I don't know if you can see it. There's some kind of film gross on here. I'm going to wipe that off, I think. Probably not anything harmful, but puppies will lick everything, so I figure I'll get it off. Alright, so, same thing. I'm going to make sure that the, the Velcro is facing the inside of the box here. Again, it's like three quarters of an inch. All right, so that's step two. All right, now I am inserting the rails with tabs on the ends, and I'm going to be screwing them down with those four screws. We're not supposed to over tighten. And then I'm going to remove the protective film from the Velcro tabs and affix to the Durawell body. Okay, so they do they do tell you that the Velcro has to be on the actual box side, but they don't say it until step three, so. Spoiler alert. I'll show you what I'm doing in here. All right, so all I'm doing right now is just placing it on top. And they've got um, a little hole here where your screw goes. So far, it's fairly idiot-proof, which is nice. Let's put the other one on. We're just popping it on. A little bit of a puppy fight here. Siblings. All right. All right, so I found a screwdriver. I'm gonna, this might be kind of a boring part of the video, but I'm gonna be just putting all four screws into all those, those four holes so that the PVC tubes are connected to each other. think is that maybe a second hole would have been nice on the first tubes here because I'm kind of hoping I get it got it tight enough in there um, tight enough against the body of the 
thing if it was. I guess probably doesn't hold it as tight if you do that. So. Right, I've done two, so I'll just show you where we're at. All right, there are, see it's now attached in here. I feel like a second hole drilled into this pipe would have been handy because right now I'm hoping I got it pressed tightly enough against here. Maybe if there was a second hole, it would have you know, I would have felt more confident that it was in the right tightness against the body. Um, but no biggie, really, I mean. All right, so I'm just gonna hold it tight against this edge here, and maybe you'll see what I mean about being able to, making sure it's in the right spot. See, as I'm, t it's not gonna be able to see on here. As I'm tightening, it's, it's uh, pushing up against the PVC since there's no hole there, so it's kind of sliding around a little bit. I mean, as long as you have one hand on it, it's you can make sure it goes in the right spot before you tighten anything down. There we go. This last one over here. All right, so what we're doing now is we're moving the film on the back here, um, same as we did with, with the main body, but just from the rails and attaching it to the main body of this, uh, it's kind of tricky to do it once it's already on here, but I don't really see any other option, so. If you're not making a video when you assemble yours, I'd highly recommend doing it on the ground instead of the counter. Um, if you're short especially, because this is kind of an awkward angle I'm working at here. Alright, so just peeling the back off and pushing it up against the throw up body. And we're going to do the other same for the other tabs. <laughs> Which I won't film in its entirety because I'm not very good at it. Be right back. So this is the last tab, to, this is number eight, and it really is kind of a silly way to do this. I've been taking the Velcro out and peeling it myself up here because it's tight. It's, it's like a, and you don't want to be doing that when you're stuck behind the, uh, the pig rail here. Alright, anyway, so that was kind of, so far that's been the biggest pain in the butt, but if that's all I have to complain about, I'm not that worried. So, this is now the completed door whelp. It's all uh, just pieced together. Here's my door. Um, so pig rails are all attached. I hope that's what they're actually called. That's what I've been calling them. I think that's what they're called. Um, they're just to keep... You know, it's a spot for the puppy to go in case in case mom's sleeping and rolls on somebody. They'll she's not gonna suffocate him by accident. Anyway, um, so they're all set. It looks, I mean, it's it's floppy, but it's I mean, it's sturdy. No, I mean, your pups definitely aren't gonna be getting out of there. Um, it looks like it feels. I mean, it's made out of the uh, like the election candidate poster board, basically. It's a uh, corrugated plastic cardboard type. Really good with words today. Um, it looks like it'll hold up. I mean, I mean, it does wobble, but it's not like it's gonna, you'd have to tip the whole, you know, you'd have to put a lot on there to do any damage. So, pretty excited so far. Okay, so I also got the whelping pen, um, which I'm, a, from the description online, it sounded exactly like the whelping box, just without the door. Um, so let's open it up and find out if that's the case. And it attaches, I'm hoping, by more than just pushing against it, but we'll see. I feel like Naughty Pups could get out of it if that's all it was. Um, and so here's my second pad. Yeah, it looks, um, it looks the same. Let's see. 
So there's the big floor base. So it's got a door, but just not the um, cl the closed door. Basically. Enough. No screws, no pig rails. So it's just an open version of that, basically. And because of that, I'm not going to show you putting show me putting it together to you. Um, I assume it's the same, and I'll update if it's anything different. These Velcro tabs are very easy as compared to the pig rails, which are not only very hard, but also pressed right up against the wall. Seems backwards. I highly recommend, most of the other corners have been cut for me, but one of them wasn't on the whelping box. So down here it's just cut. So it's just cut through half of the, half the layer here. So what I'm suggesting is that just before you actually undo any of the Velcro tabs, you check and make sure it's split so that your Velcro doesn't get stuck to anything else while you're putting it together. But like I said, it was just so far, it's just been that one side. So and it was only like maybe that much not cut. So obviously just missed in the process. All right, so here is the completed, uh, what are they calling it, what, weaning pen? Um, and it actually looks like what I'm going to be doing is attaching the, let me grab it, the door panel from the welding box. And what I'm going to be doing is just sliding this against both the weaning pen and hmm, maybe and the whelping box. I think maybe I'm squishing them both in there. Um, I could be wrong. I have not read the instructions yet. Really good to read instructions when doing a tutorial video. All right, so I think I'm right. Uh, I'm pulling up the door whelp door, which is what I had pulled out here before. I'm pulling this out of the whelping box push my weaning pen against the box with box rails extending into pen rail openings. Okay, I see. Um, let me uh, figure out how to film this. Alright, so now I've got the uh, I've got the two pieces and I've pulled out both of the door frames and I'm just going to be pushing the rail end into the hole they provided. You know, it's kind of locked in place there. All right. Pull your pen frame up and out in the wire slot. Yes, um, I was correct. I'm pushing both of the pieces here into here. Um, it sounds from the instructions. <sighs> To be getting them both in there, it's gonna. If they say don't use force, but it sounds like it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Ooh, I mean, it's roomy. It's roomy in here. This is a size small, so that's not half bad for small. These chihuahuas are gonna be in heaven. Hey. That's a really bad angle. I figured it out. So the one that came with the whelping box is this size, and the one that comes with the weaning pen is this size. It is a larger gap in the one supplied with the weaning pen. So it's not going to work if you just try to put the uh, this one in there. So we're going to we're going to try that again. Oh yeah, much easier.
All right, so their instructions specifically say do not use force. Yeah, you have to use a little bit of force. Let's see what this next instruction says. Position and push your box into the opening. All right, so just uh, put this one now. Um, this is now your door. So get that there. And I'm putting my door back. And there is your completed whelping pen and box. Looks pretty good. I mean, instantaneously I can see it's double the size of my current setup. Um, plus it's not, puppies push this around all day. It's all I hear all day is them running into this. Um, they can actually, not at six weeks, but once they start getting eight weeks, they, they can climb this. It's rather impressive for a little puppy. Um, the other thing I'm a little bit concerned about is um, right now if mom dog has an accident in here, it will get underneath this, which, so, you know, you got to take it out and sanitize it and everything, which is what you do with puppies. But um, I was hoping to avoid that in here, but obviously there is still a, there's still a lip here. So we'll see how that holds up to, to uh Puppy accidents, no problem. If your if your mom dog has an accident, maybe a little bit more of an issue. All right, so um, I got the little Dura pads um, to go into the whelping box, um, and they're recommending that you wash them before. This is really bad sunlight here. They're recommending that you wash them beforehand. I'm gonna put them in right now and wash them once the I've done the video. Read these instructions. All right, so in your instructions, there's four little Velcro tabs here. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just putting, I'm, I'm using rubbing alcohol on the Durawell base in each corner so that this Velcro sticks better. Um, and I'm putting the Velcro pad into each corner and that will attach to, this is, this is heavy duty. This is definitely worth what you're paying for. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but this is, this is thicker than most of my carpet is. Um, so this looks good. Um, so what we're doing is putting the Velcro, the black Velcro down in each corner of the whelping box so that when you pop this down, this is going to stay in place. Your puppies aren't going to I'm gonna bite this. Aren't gonna pick this up and drag them around, drag it around with them. Um, and this is heavy duty. This is nice. I mean, I'm sure you could you could make it yourself, but I think you'd end up paying similar price in materials. All right, I already cleaned each corner with rubbing alcohol, so I'm just gonna go put the velcros down right now. Hey, 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 Maybe to follow the instructions of doing it piece at a time, just because it might line up differently than than I think. Oh, wow. This is really sticky Velcro. The pad might line up differently than the extreme edge of the thing, so I'm gonna put this in here as we go. Might be the stickiest thing I've ever All right, so the trick I find that seems to work the best is I actually just put my whole carpet down, and then I'm pushing, I'm just lifting up the side, putting my Velcro on and pushing it back, and that seems to actually be doing the best. So that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to wash it before I put my puppies in there, but uh, that looks good to me. So here's a little bit of fine print. Um, oh, it's backwards. I'll read it. It's not to be in. It's not covered by warranty. If you use it for something other than whelping, um, 
were for damage caused by chewing. So technically, you're not supposed to use it for puppies older than five weeks. Uh, my puppy is already six weeks, and I'm going to definitely go keep on using it, but my warranty will be void the second I pop my puppies in there. Um, but such is life. Okay, so there is the pen set up and put into place. Um, it, it, looks, it looks pretty good. My puppies are having a little bit of a time getting not from this side to this side to the rail here, but from here to here. They're getting a little, I mean, it's, it's taller than they are, so it's a little bit of a jump. Um, you'll be able to see. Yeah, she makes it fine. I'll be over there having a little bit of trouble. Um, I think mom and dog can get out pretty easy, but she pretty much wants to stay with the puppy, so it's not a good deal. She might get out as they get a little bit older. She might get out to get away from them. Right here, you little girl. Um, so I like it. Um, my The only thing I'm going to take getting used to is uh, I used to be able to store all of my supplies right on top of the other box. So the back there's not bad. That's pretty good. Uh, but I like it. I mean, it's definitely, yeah, it's wobbly, but the cops aren't getting out. It looks pretty durable. I mean, and every edge that you think they would chew, like down here, it's, it's covered by this harder plastic. So they're not, I mean, this is pretty easily chewable if you can get a grip on it. But unless your dogs are this tall, in which case you'd be getting the taller one, that's not going to be an issue. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. I think it's good. <laughs> so, um, it's definitely this kind of thing that I don't mind having. I mean, this is the middle of my kitchen. Um, and yes, it's a dog home, so not everyone's going to have a dog whelping box in the middle of their kitchen. But, you know, our home is a dog home, and it doesn't look out of place here. Um, it's certainly much better than having, having this, this terrible, terrible fence. Um, and it has its place, but... I'm very glad to be getting rid of it. Um, so, that's that. Um, I'll keep updating and decide whether I like it or not. Um, as, I mean, I'm a little bit nervous about mom being able to get out. But, you know, again, she wants to stay with her puppies for the most of it. Um, and definitely, for a whelping box, no issues. Now that they're a little bit older, it might be a little bit more of a issue, but here it is. Like, so here's some puppy action. It's three o'clock. Oh, thanks for letting me know. And here's just some some puppy puppy playtime, which right now looks kind of violent, but. Got some troublemakers in here. Got some troublemakers in here, don't I? Yes, we do. Even her, she's playing a little bit. See, her biting, her biting right now is actually um, her teaching the puppies that it's called bite inhibition. Um, it's teaching the puppies what is nice biting and what is mean biting. The difference between playing and being aggressive. So she actually, she's just barely, you know popping her mouth on them and showing them like, oh look, you can play with your mouth without without actually causing pain. So that's what she's doing right here. This is this is why it's really important. See, and she said that was too hard. Because that was too hard, so she gave him a little bit of a correction. Which he's imitating back at her. <laughs> um, but that's why it's really important that puppies like right now they're eating solid food and drinking the water and stuff. But it's really important puppies stay with their mom as long as possible because she's teaching them how to be a dog right now. Um, so, it's really important. She's teaching them behavior and how to act around people and how to act to each other. 
So it's really important that they get this good mommy time. Um, I mean, obviously legal issues. You're not allowed to let your puppies leave till eight weeks in most places, ten weeks in some places. But I like to hold on to them at least at least nine. Uh, ten is especially with a small breed dog. Ten is much safer, um, and they really do learn a lot from their mom, which is why good good t personality is really important when you're breeding, not just everything else. Oh, a little bit of a clonk. We get a little bit of a clonk. Um, so, yeah, I, I like the pen. Um, we'll see how it goes as we have to clean it and uh, maintain it. But, so, we'll see. But, so far I like it. Hershey likes it. Poppies seem to like it. Poppies like everything, though. Be rude. So I'll, I'm going to back off and let them do some playing so you can see it. Came over here and all the computer coming over to the, the food side. Uh -huh. Okay, so here is some, see what he's doing right here, this little guy, is that he is notorious for ripping up whatever I have as a blanket, so I am really kind of liking the Velcro. Oh my gosh, you're under the <laughs> under the bed, Hirsch. You have a puppy under there. The bed might be coming out. <laughs> I think they'll get the hang of it. I think that they're just not used to it yet. I bet by the end of the day they'll be leaping over that with no problem. We've actually got Garlias up here on the pig rail. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, look at that. Easy. Easy. Too cute. And these puppies right now, they're just over 16, I mean, just over six weeks. They were born December 18th, and today is January 31st. Do you want a treat? Come over here for a treat. So these are granola Wisconsin cheddar. I bet I could eat them. I'm not going to try though, that's kind of gross. And one more. Are you going to let your puppies fight over that one? Oh my gosh, that was my nose. This is my first video, so you'll have to uh, forgive me. Alright, I think we've got about 10 minutes of puppy time in there, so we're going to call it a day.